hello guys welcome back to my channel so about a month ago i made a video on how to cut male native trouser and i promised i was going to show you how i sew insane pockets in male native trouser and that is what i'm going to show you today so first step you need to pick your front your front panel and in case you don't know how to cut male native trouser you can check out my video on that so you pick your front panel and then on the side where the pocket will be that's your side seam you mark three inches from the edge and then from the three inches point you mark seven inches for the pocket space this seven inches is how wide your pocket is going to be so what I'm going to do now is to notch each point and the next thing is to pick your pocket piece. This is 14 by 14 inches. If you fold it, it means that from here to here will be seven inches. And then I gave it a little curve at the bottom edge. I'm using a green thread just so that you can easily see my stitches on this black fabric. So from the three inches point you marked, you're going to place your pocket, the side of your pocket, the side. You're going to pla place it 0.5 inch above the notched area like so you could hold it down with a pin so what you're going to do now is to sew it down from one uh, from the point you notched to the other point this point What you're going to do next is to slit it at, at, the, at the starting point and at the end point. You stop just before the stitch. Then you'll open it up like so. And then over stitch or under stitch. So what this um, under stitch is meant to do is to help the pocket fold in easily. Of which at this point you should iron your pocket so that it can lay really flat. The next thing for you to do is to fold your pocket back. You could pin it down. And then do the same at the other edge. So what I'm going to do next is to stitch it down at this point and this point. At this point, the pocket has begun to take shape. What you'll do next is to flip it over and then slit your pocket, just the pocket at this point. The reason why you are flipping it is so that you could be able to turn it back out. Turn it back and then try to bring the pocket out. So at this point, it will be easy to turn it back out because you slitted it. So what you are going to do is to sew it all the way around. So after sewing like so, you then take the pocket back inside. And on the wrong side, what you have is a neatly turned pocket. Now to secure this seam, to make sure that it can carry heavy things like mobile phones and the likes without tearing off, you will have to top stitch it all round. So here's what the right side of your front panel looks like and the wrong side looks like this. So what I'm going to do next is to join my back panel. So here's my back panel. I've placed right on right. I want to show you the negative side of it so that you can know how to sew over this pocket. So I'm going to join these two panels now. I will align it at my, my knee area and start sewing.
I'm going to sew over this right here. So it's just going to go over it and then I will join it only to this um, fabric and not to the major one so that it can still be open. On getting to the second point, I'm also going to sew over it. So on the left side, it looks something like this. Here's the first point. Here's the second point. And on the right side, it looks like this. And with this, you're done with sewing your inseam pockets. Really neat and nice. So that's it for today's video. If there's any other part of um, sewing, of this sewing project that you'd like to see a more detailed way of achieving, let me know in the comment section. Alright, so till next time. Bye-bye.